All right. So uh, I think the first thing I wanted to bring up is the story that just came out earlier today about uh, Vince McMahon and, and WWE giving talent 30 days to end some of these third party deals that they have with some of these apps. Um, I, it sounds like specifically Twitch and Cameo and, and maybe some others, but those seem to be the, the main targets. Uh, what's going on here? Is WWE, I imagine WWE is doing something similar to, uh, you know, to, to try and, and, and uh, I don't know if it's an app or, or they just want the, the talent under their own deal or something. Yeah, I, I think either they're going to, I mean, I don't know. I, and, and the talent, I mean, I, I can tell you the talent doesn't really know exactly, but I think that they know that they got to get off Twitch and Cameo. I don't think YouTube, they don't, they, I shouldn't say, I know people who don't think YouTube, but it has not been, you know, completely explained what this means to them. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, my first thought just from what I heard was that WWE probably wants to make a deal and individual deals undercut the team deal. And so they, you know, they need, they, they want to make exc exclusive deals. And if guys, you know, and women are, are, have their own deals, then it's not exclusive. So that's what I assume this is, but I'm still waiting to hear from WWE and, t and talent is waiting to hear probably more specifics as well, since it's just really all broke for them. They, they first heard about it. I, th I think, well, they got the letter yesterday. They might've heard about it a couple of days earlier, but they got the letter yesterday. Now, I don't imagine that this is a large part of the wrestler's income, but it is some. It for might it might be for some. I think some of the women, and I don't know like what what they're cut back on. I'm still waiting to get that clarified. But I know that a, that there's a lot of money that can be made from certain accounts, but I don't know how significant it is for who and what. I mean, I've seen people estimate that there's some people making like a ton of money off of this. Um, but it's it's very much, I mean, it's it's like, you know, and you, you and I, br you brought this up to me earlier today and it's exactly what I was thinking. It is very similar to what UFC did um, when they eliminated sponsorships um, and, you know, as far as like in the ring and everything like that. And so it took away income. And to some people, it was a lot of income and to most people, it was some income. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's the case here. I think for a lot of people, it's no income because a lot of people weren't on this. But there are some, I think, that were making significant money off of this. It seems like it anyway. Yeah, I think the thing that I would and, and maybe this is not something WWE is even really thinking about. But a lot of what these folks are doing on the side with some of these, especially with the Twitch stuff, with the video games, this is kind of like a... Um, it's a hobby or it's, you know, it's it's a release for them, uh, you know, yeah. sort of out of their daily day to day. And there is a mental health perspective of this that I hope that they're at least thinking about, which is when I, you know, when I'm on the clock and I'm sort of, you know, working my, my job, I'm focusing 110 percent. You know, I'm so into it, but I need a break from that. And some of this stuff is a break from their normal day to day. Now they, I, they they do utilize their characters or their WWE uh, personas in 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 this. So I'm sure that's part of what this is about as well. But there is something to being able to step away and do something that you enjoy and and you know make make some money at the same time. So I hope WWE is looking at that part of it because I know you know with uh, you know with I, my I, own with my own job like just doing this stuff with you is a fun release for me from my normal like heads down you know working 45 hours a week in inside of my house all day long and then i get to do this thing with you and it's sort of you know it, it it's it's a it's a release yeah well another thing is for talent you know a lot of the talent is used to kind of a schedule where they're always on the go always on the road and because of the pandemic it's changed you know they're pretty much not on the road unless they live away from Florida. The ones like live in Florida in, in central Florida, which is a lot of them, you know, they just have that one day of work a week, maybe two. Some of them will fly in for that one day and fly back out. Um, that happens as well, but they have way more free time than before. And so there's kind of like, I know it's been expressed to me um, today from people was that we have all this free time and we're just building up, 
you know, we're building up our own names, but we're also building up the company mm -hmm. when we do this. And it's kind of like they, um, you know, and it's, and it's like, you know, we got free time to come up with these creative ideas that we didn't have before that, that reach people in a different, in a different way. But it's also, like you said, it's also a release for a lot of them of just like, you know, just interacting with fans in a new way. Um, and, and, you know, they don't know again, like, I guess you could put some stuff on YouTube and maybe it's okay, but we don't even know that for sure. Mm -hmm. So, but, but it's, it's like, you know, a lot of that, that, that it was kind of like a new way of, you know, not just making money, but just of spending time, you know, because there's almost, there's only so much that you're one day a week of wrestling and then you're going to the gym every day. Um, you know what I mean? There's free time now, which which a lot of these people literally lived on a schedule with very little free time. So it's like, let's use the free time to build up our own names for sure in a new way. But also, you know, in their minds and, and they're right, you know, um, they're representatives of the company. But the company doesn't want anyone representing them unless it's what they control. And I think that's perhaps that's an issue, too, is that the company doesn't control it and these people are doing stuff you know and maybe 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 vince is mad they're saying things that they're too open on some of these things too i mean because you see you see you see some of the quotes on certain things and it's um you know it's it's you know they make news and there's some ins i mean they don't go that inside but some of them go inside you know which is when they're talking they don't really think because um or they do think whatever but you know when you just talk casually you'll say things that you're honestly thinking about and WWE is not good with that. That's, so that's another is issue. Do you know of any instances that have happened where they were a little too honest with something that came back that, you know, was, was something that, that could have been one of the reasons for, for this to happen? I don't know if any of them are specific reasons, but certainly the AJ Styles, Paul Heyman stuff, for sure. Yeah. Where, where, did, where did he, was that on a Twitch thing or something? I think it's, um, I'm not sure what channel it is. I think it's a Twitch thing that is, is that, that, you know, the, the thing that he does, um, that AJ does on a regular basis. Yeah. I was also wondering with uh, the, w the positive tests that have gotten out um, have been from the performers themselves saying that this happened. I wonder if some, I wonder, I, I had wondered if it was something like that where they were saying, you know, well, that would be AJ also. Cause AJ is the only one who said it. Um, I, you know, I don't know because it's like, there's no stigma in, in testing positive whatsoever. Maybe in Vince's mind there is, but man, I don't think but there if is. You just, I mean, describing where if you got it at the workplace, it makes your workplace look bad. True true um that, that's yeah that's definitely true 